Hello, you there? A minute, there we go. Oh, there we go. Okay, no, that's cool. Just want to check that you um, are on. There we go. Let me just quickly make you host, and then we can just check that everything's good. Oh, lovely. There we go. Perfect. Okay, can you see me on that side? Yeah, I can see you. Okay, let me see if I can just do gallery. Anyway, I don't need to see myself. That's fine. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> but I don't want to see me. I'll put it in gallery then. There we go. That's fine. Do you want to just check your presentation is working? Yeah. And then Let we, me go while share. we wait for everyone. There we go. Let me go share. Okay. And then I just want to check. Let's make sure it goes up and down. Perfect. It's working. And if I go control L, there we go. Can you see it nice and big now? I can. I can okay. see it big. I, yeah. So that's perfect. I just want to check if I show the video. I'm just going to do a little bit. Can you see something on your side? Um, the video. Can you not see the video? It's not moving. No. Let me just go pause. And, and then was no, yeah, no, it's not moving. And then you also just need to share your computer sound. Okay, there like we go. Is that better? Mm, it doesn't seem to be moving. Oh, I see. Is that better? The the the, the uh, presentation is moving, but I didn't I, see the video. Oh, uh, let me see. I don't know if that's going to work. I'll just try again. It's. Is it, can you see something like a, a different screen on my video? I mean, on my side, can you see if I, can you hear music? Angela? Sorry, I disappeared for a second there. Sorry, someone was just asking me something. Sorry. Oh, um, sorry. Can, can you, <laughs> can you still not see my video? No, nothing's moving. Okay, it's not going to work then. I'm going to have to figure out how to do that. I'll just have to leave it. Have you not got another link for it that we can try to click on the link? Or where, is it in your presentation? Um, do you know what? It's not in my presentation. I, I linked it via YouTube, but it doesn't seem to... Um, Unless what you do is then just move over to where it is yeah, in maybe YouTube Maybe if I afterwards. go stop share and then go there... Let me go then back to my Zoom and go share and see if it works that way. Yeah, um, and then you can just do that. Let's see. Yeah, do you know what? Sometimes it works. Let's see if it does it this way. No. No, challenging technology. Okay, let's see if, I, if I do it this way, can you see something? Okay, just click on it so I can see the link. Let's just click on no, it. No, for some reason it doesn't. Is it not clicking? On your side, it doesn't seem to, because on my side, it's showing it, the video. But, but have you got the right screen on? Have you got double screen? Um, no. Yeah. Um, Maybe it's not clicking onto the right screen because I can see your e I can see your email, but I can't see the. Oh, and it doesn't click onto it, so it doesn't connect. Oh, at least we could try that. Do you know what? It's not a chain smash. If we don't, I just need to stop it now. Okay, stop. Yeah. You know technology, huh? Hey? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Well we'll wait. We got we got quite a few minutes just to wait while everybody logs on. So I'll just come oh, back brilliant. to you in a moment. Okay, Carla, thanks. Okay. Let me just go share screen.
Good morning, Carla. Good morning. How are you? Is technology failing me? Oh, can't you see anything? I can see, but I wasn't hearing your beautiful voice. Oh, no, I've been very quiet on this side. <laughs> I was just waiting for <laughs> something to start happening, and I thought I'd better behave myself. <laughs> This is not the time and place to behave. <laughs> no, no, absolutely. Isn't this a wonderful industry, hey? That yes. we can just let our hair down and have fun. Definitely. Oh, excellent. We work so hard. We work so hard. I agree hard. with you, Cameron. We, we all to... work so hard. It's already September. Yes. I can just picture us all at this beautiful, beautiful lodge, <laughs> swimming in the ocean with the whales. I hope you all agree, Love. ladies and gents. Um, I'm going to call, I'm going to wait just one more minute because I see there's a few people just logging on. So let's just I give it another minute fine. or so, then I'll introduce you. Thank you. Perfect. Yeah, no, that's absolutely fine. I can't see who's all on. That's my only problem. You know, when you're sitting on this side. Oh, it's see. okay. There's a mixture of Asian staff. There's a mixture. It's our first one that we've had in a long time, so it's a little bit oh. slower today, but um, I'm sure they'll all can check out the recording. Oh, no, that's fine. And Angela, like I say, I'm, I've got no, my next meeting's much later, so I'm not under any pressure of ending or I'm happy to wait up to five minutes, as long as everybody else is also happy. And I hope you love this lovely picture just to get you all in the mood for holiday vibes at some point. If you see my screen save, it's also this image. So it really is one of my favorites. It is, of course, my favorite as well. <laughs> yeah, I know it's lovely. Anyway, Cameron, can you see on your side if Sipang or Wendy Howard are on this presentation? I know they're also hectic and traveling. Um, Let's... Let me answer on Sipang. Sipang is no longer at our employment. It's been three oh. months now. Oh, three months. No wonder yes. she's been so quiet. Yes, yes. <laughs> Oh, okay. I'm just trying to see and, um, the only reason I'm asking is because they were up with me at Miss Singer. So if any of your consultants have questions, they can also approach them. But, but Wendy's around and you're around, Cameron. You yes, yes, we are. Mind. We definitely. We, right yeah. hand man. So when they come back from this educational trip, they give us a rundown. They took us, they take us through everything. So they don't live with the information. No, they don't know. I know they did that. And oh, listen, it's just always lovely, you know. Um, yes. We need a new team of agents to get up here now. Yes, and I would need to include me, Cameron. Yes. <laughs> Who is that? Who's saying that? It's I can't Angela. see. Oh, okay. It's Absolutely. me, guys. I haven't been to your resorts. Okay, cool, guys. Um, yay, welcome back to training. We haven't had it in a while. We've been um, working through our new systems on UDMS, and we're very excited that it's all going so well. Of course, there's a few teething problems, but that comes with the territory. But um, we're kicking off in spring today, and um, with what a better, beautiful property than Masinga Beach in Mozambique. So, Carla, thanks for joining us, and um, you are welcome to take us through your beautiful product, and um, then we can do questions at the end. So, thanks, everybody, for joining. Uh, Angela, firstly, a huge thank you for getting this going. And I'm absolutely honored that I'm the first um, presenter to kick it off again. So I'm going to start off with this amazing image. And oh, before I start, I just want to say well done with your new program, because I know that your, your new booking system, because I know that that comes with a lot of headaches. So just persevere, ladies and gents. It is a wonderful system um, and um, wish you all the best with it. Right, so Missinga Beach, this is a beautiful lodge that literally sits in Mozambique with very, very easy access. Out of South Africa, we have reliable and wonderful um, air link, which flies directly from Awatambo to Vilanculos. 
So that is that is those flights are daily. They depart at eleven fifteen in the morning and they arrive at um, Villanculos at about twelve fifty. And then when they fly back, it's thirteen thirteen in the afternoon that they depart Villanculos and arriving in Joburg at three fifteen. So you're looking at a two hour flight, and you're in a beautiful sunny destination. And it's about a two and a half hour road transfer arriving in Villanculos. Your other options are also LAM and they have amazing flights from Joburg or from Maputo. And it's also lovely to overnight at Maputo and then fly off to the beautiful um, Masinga Beach. So those are your two airlines and um, it's really great. I've also got a bush and beach option because Airlink flies from KMIA in Nelspruit. That's an hour flight. And we do get quite a lot of honeymooners that like to do the bush experience first and then to the beach. But um, a very popular for South Africans is the direct flight to the beach. So once you arrive at Villanculos Airport, we have a great team. Mozambicans are just very friendly, humble people. And um, this is our dear Nelson. He will meet your guests. We have a couple of driver guides. You'll have a name board and there'll be a beautiful luxury vehicle. It will be air conditioned and there'll also be some lovely drinks. And while you're driving, he'll, you know, explain to your guests what the beautiful sightings are around the way. If they want to stop, he'll be able to stop. Even for the, the, the smokers, he'll do a smoke, a smoke stop for them. But otherwise, the drive is very pleasant. And you're looking at about two and a half and the return trip is 1,500. Um, we need at least a minimum of two people. So it, it works out to that rate. Right, then as you're driving, if there are any self-drives, we've got Elaine in reservations. For those of you that have dealt with her, she's amazing. She will also share, you know, the best routes and whatnot. But most of the guests, we find it's a quick flight. And then you arrive at this incredible lodge that sits between Inambam and Villanculos. So the beauty of this is exactly for us city people that want to get away from the traffic, the noise, and all of that. And you arrive in a piece of paradise. What's really beautiful about Missinga Beach and when your guests arrive here is that it, there is nothing in front of them. Literally, if you see a hawker that's um, trying to sell fish not even i mean there's no hawkers what am i talking about a fisherman walking down the beach that's that's a lot um that's a lot of people so it's really ideal for honeymooners couples families multi-generational travelers and there's a combination of lovely suites and rooms at the top and then the beach bar literally on the beach so let's take you through the setting so when your guests arrive, they literally park their car and it's a short drive. They walk through the reception area and they've got this beautiful sort of, it's like a picture frame you walk in through and then there's this gorgeous setting of the ocean. So from the minute they arrive, they feel, oh my gosh, we're on holiday. So this main lodge has got this great huge dining area. So if it's a rainy day, we can, it's up to 40 people in here, lovely ambiance, and lovely setting but of course with this beautiful wooden deck the ideal prize is to always have sunny weather the umbrellas are opened up and all breakfasts and dinners are served at this venue there's also a lovely big pool this is generally used for um, anybody that wants to do a refresher course on diving and then you know the dive center is about 30 minutes away from Masinga. So, and um, we can arrange that. That's a day activity. And Missinga has over 18 swimming pools. So this is where I say we don't take children younger than six years old. But from six to 12, we've got beautiful rooms, which I'm going to show you that your guests can use. The food is outstanding for those that eat fish, whatever is caught in the morning from the fishermen, it is served for um, lunch or dinner. And breakfast is a combination of cold and hot, continental and hot. Um, lunch, we generally encourage guests to go down to the beach bar. And dinner is a four, four um, sort of four course dinner. And it's just really, really, we get rave reviews on the food. And depending what is happening, there's one of the um, functions that we organize for one of the evenings, which is a Mozambique themed dinner. And we generally get your guests to go to the um, 
missing a market, which I'll tell you and elaborate as we move along. But food is fantastic. There's afternoon treats. And the accommodation is just wow. We really, for the rates, and thank you to Cameron and the Thompson team, we've really negotiated brilliant rates. You guys are one of our preferred, in fact, not our preferred partner. So um, when you're booking the Ocean View Chalets for families, this is the size of them. We have got 10 of these. So this is the main bedroom with this beautiful view, all the doors open up looking out into the ocean. So you can literally be lying on your bed. And as I speak, there are whales in the background. So we've really been trying to showcase this on our social media platforms. And that's what's happening. Then next to the bedroom or just behind the bedroom is a massive um, bathroom. So there's a shower, bath and a separate loo. And then you walk through the main bedrooms of the um group the doors of the bedroom and you come through a little sort of coffee making and refrigerator with which is stocked and then into the lounge area here we can easily fit two beds for kids aged 6 to 12 and they have a separate um, loo as well and shower so that's really comfortable for the kids and the and the parents and then here too all the doors open up with this amazing view so these are further up and as I'd mentioned before, there's about 10 of them and they've got great value for money rates. The Oceanfront Deluxe Suites, these are the more popular ones. Thank you to all of you that are booking because we, we do see that these are the great ones that you're supporting. And they're really beautiful. With 14 of them, you could have 14 honeymoon couples and none of them will feel jealous because they'll all have this amazing plunge pool looking out in the hot summer months that are coming now into Mozambique. It's gorgeous. And here we also have, look at this gorgeous bedroom, wraparound curtains, air conditioned, walk through these drawers into the bathroom and you've got a rainforest shower sort of effect with the bath and the swimming pool. And again, all these drawers open up, lots of privacy. And our top one is the presidential villa. It's 160 square meters of paradise. So it's identical to the previous category, but they've added an additional big, bigger um, swimming pool, a whole lounge area. And then there's a lovely day bed, which you can also, so this one also, we can do extra special treats. It does come with, um, you know, we can have a host that um, serves them cocktails here and meals. So it's got the space and it's really comfortable. And that's the setting. You know, you could be enjoying a lovely um, romantic dinner or just having a glass of bubble or bubbles or some cocktails and this is your setting. So always, and I know you all do, but always if there's a special occasion, if your guests have gone through something really awkward or um, something terrible has happened just, and they need to get away, just let the teams know. They will go all out. Um, our management couple at Masinga are just thriving. It's Barry and Voon. They're really doing an amazing job with, with, with what's going on there. And then we go down to the beach bar. This is the reason we're at Masinga. Now, we always laugh because when we see reservations, your guests want to do everything. They, they, they are just not enough activities because they think they are going to be doing everything. They arrive at the beach bar. And to get here, we have daily carts that bring your guests. So they literally leave from the reception area. Lovely drive. They park. They've got a little bus stop. And every 15 minutes, there's someone to collect your guests. And that's your setting. So another massive swimming pool. And the last ed I did with some of the Thompson's agents, we had the funnest time here. I've got amazing photos and just wonderful memories. So this lovely swimming pool is right in front of the beach bar. So here we've got games in the background. They serve amazing lunches. And there's all, you can see the boogie boards. We can do surfing from here. There's lots of fun activities. So the meals are more relaxed. It's more your prego rolls, your calamari salads, your chicken and um, chips. So really local and lots of fish, of course, when as much as we can for those. That For any special dietary requirements, that's also not a problem. They've literally got organic gardens. They've got lots that they can offer. And as long as you let them know, know in time for any shopping. 
and the, the, the cocktails from this area. So when your guests arrive here from all these activities they wanted to do for the first two days, they do absolutely nothing. And for some of the guests, the ones they see really stressed out, we send our therapists down and they can do massages on the decks down here or relax them with um, neck and shoulder and head massages or a hand massage foot so they start relaxing and we can just see those beautiful personalities coming out from when they arrived as the days go on and then all the amazing setups pictures cannot tell you how beautiful the setting is and the story of Masinga is really um, a beautiful one because the owners Les and Suzanne I mean her husband Les built Masinga and he walked from Shai Shai which is further down all the way down until he arrived at the spot because of the boulders. So there's a beautiful story to be told, and that's how Masinga was born. As you can see, lovely, lovely images, clean beaches. Um, it's not tidal, so, you know, you've always got the waters. This is as low as the tide kind of gets. So you can do all the water activities from Masinga. And also the special, there's nothing more beautiful than a romantic setting between the alcombs and literally, as the tide comes in, it's time for them to go on to lunch or do something. It's like a movie. It is so beautifully done. And then it's just this incredible beach where you want to go for walks and you want to just enjoy the time there by doing fun activities and relaxing. We don't have a spa treatment room. Literally, the therapist will come into your suite with the massage beds set up whatever you need and then um, you can collapse onto your bed and rest for the rest of the afternoon until dinner if that's what you want to do. There's lots of fun <sighs> things like the coconut demonstration. This is such a huge, huge um, fun activity where you literally go, in, you know, with the coconut demonstrator guys and they will take you from when the coconut is raw right up to the end process and guests love it. And your welcome drink is always served in a coconut shell, which is absolutely delicious. Then for your activities, like I said, there's lots to do. When you've got this beach in front of you, you can go snorkeling. We've got a lovely little snorkeling reef not too far from us. And then there's also all the boards and the beach activities. We have so much fun. Because you're not sitting on an island where there are hundreds of people, People are more comfortable trying out kayaking, surfing, and the water temperature is absolutely fantastic. It's warmer than the beaches in South Africa, so it's a real treat. And if you want to try out fishing, we've got, or, or even entry-level snorkeling, it's just been great for me when I bring up um, agents and they're quite nervous to try snorkeling and we can stand and slowly get everybody comfortable and then when you're more comfortable we've got ocean safaris and um, other activities where you can get more adventuring with the snorkeling okay so these are the whales that have arrived it's amazing because the Masinga's also built on a dune you can see further out so they sent me images of five whales not too long ago so it's really really amazing and such amazing animals to just see in front of you you know other activities are the um, deep sea fishing. As mentioned earlier, we outsource that and it's a 30 minute drive from Misinga and you can go out and do snorkeling. Um, there's also Pansy Island, which is beautiful. These are the Pansy shells and then we can set up a picnic for your guests. So that's another great activity. One of my favorites is the Masinga Town Cultural Tour. So one of our guides will go with you into the market. It's a food market and they do sell these capulanas, which are those lovely fabrics that they produce in Mozambique. And as you're walking through the market, if there's a veggie you haven't tried, our guide is slowly collecting a whole lot of amazing veggies, fruits, and then that evening, when you get back to Masinga, they cook up all this amazing local food. And for me, this is what, what getting away is exploring the locals. So you're not just on a, you know, get out there and mingle. You're not, you're not just staying at the resort for the full time that you're at Masinga. And then, of course, there's these Kapulanas. And the great news for South Africans is that the rand is stronger than the Met Metika. So... That's one positive as well. You actually get change when you go to the, the local Missinga markets. 
and families my goodness i mean these this is actually some of our tribe those are my two kids and just to see them being kids again and no cell phones and just enjoying the beach and the dunes there's so much happening families actually talking around a dinner table and everyone like the father saying my gosh what happened to the cell phones but on that note it is a beautiful setting to take lots of photos the great news is that we do have wi-fi in the rooms now so it's really lovely to have that and then also the multi-generational travelers so for those of you that do also do bigger groups remember that you can charter a plan now to in and bomb it's slightly shorter than Vilanculos. And then they can take over the whole of Masinga and have a lot of fun with it. We have so many weddings. It's really memories in the making. The beauty about Masinga is it's a two-hour flight and then the road transfer. So it's easy and quick to get to. And um, guests absolutely love it here. For your guests, there's a different traveler that's wanting to support lodges that are giving back. And any owner that buys any property or you can't buy property, but you get a lease for a certain amount of years. You have to give back. So Miss Singer's giving back was building a school. These are the beautiful children. If you want to bring up books, absolutely. Please, no sweets, no chocolates. That just creates other comp um, other problems for, for, for health reasons. So if you do have guests going up and they want to support the initiative. And then we also support the local community. You know, if Miss Singer, and this is why every time you book Miss Singer, you are supporting a family that lives in the village of Miss Singer. And this is our guy called Masinga. He is, that's his name. A lot of the Mozambicans get given names of the town they're born in. And he creates all these amazing crafts. It gets his steam. And anything that gets sold gets gets given all the profits go um, back to the community. And this little market is found just on the right-hand side of Masinga's reception area. So the owners have been fantastic in supporting this initiative. And what they do, what Masinga does is they also buy these hearts and, you know, they'll put these lovely names of the couples that are honeymooners. So there's all little touches that are always happening for your guests behind the scene. This um, this is a lovely, another community initiative where we can have one of our guides take them into their little local um, um, town in the Masinga village and you interact with the families and whatnot. Because it's not commercial, the, it, there's such beautiful interaction. We meet the elders. We sometimes, not always, they'll make a, you know, they'll make a drink, which is, I must be out of coconut, which I must admit is not for my palate. But that interaction and the laugh that comes with that is just great. And then we have an NGO that's based at Masinga. He's from America. And when your guests are there and there's interaction, he's absolutely fantastic in telling people what we're doing to develop Mozambique. It's a project called Water Underground where they find borehole water. And then from there, they will uh, move the villages there and whatnot. Mozambique is very third world. That's wonderful because it's still raw and untouched. But on the other hand, we are helping develop it to at least get waters. Look, and I must say, even in our South Africa, we have our challenges. Hey? So with load shedding, so I think the world is a bit of a mess. But at Masinga, we're doing our little bit to support um, the communities. We've got lovely documents to help any of you that want this information. Um, it's all shared with um, Angela and Cameron. They have all of it on file if you want to get it. And basically, guys, that is um, Missinga Beach. I'm going to just stop sharing now. And um, are you still all there? <clears throat> yes, we are. Oh, wonderful. So just yeah. to let you know packages that we have created and with the help, you know, we, we I meet with Cameron quite regularly and, you know, we, we've got amazing deals. So we've got the stay five, pay four offer, which brings the rate right down. I have no idea how Thompson's puts out the specials they do with Missinga. I've seen amazing packages that range from 18,000 Rand to 20, including flights, including the transfers and all the activities. So a huge shout out to Thompson's, whoever you're negotiating those rates with on the airline side is brilliant. So I really 
cannot find any other um, wholesaler with the rates that Thompson's has. So a huge thank you for doing that. And we've also got a honeymoon special. There's two. You can either take the more um the ones in the that we have 14, the honeymoon. What are, oh my god, the ocean front deluxe suites, or we've got a slightly higher one in the presidential, which still comes at a fraction of the price of some of the other um beach getaways. And that is my presentation. I would love some questions. I'm sure I've forgotten something. Um out of this presentation so please go ahead is it in the chat group i see this some oh, questions no, that was amazing what a beautiful property i'm sure we all don't go there yes. um it, it, it is beautiful it is a nice seller for us and as you say cameron's negotiated some awesome deals so they're all on our website but i'm sure you must have some questions for carla anybody oh i'm gonna ask you guys here huh? <laughs> um Let's see. Is the yes, it's all on it, it's all inclusive. What we haven't got is the drinks. We are working on a an, an added drinks package, but in that, that's a brilliant question because I had my document here to actually tell you what is included. So thank you for asking that, Crystal. Um, in the rates is your breakfast, lunch, so all your meals. Then we've also got the afternoon teas. There's the snorkeling at fingers. Um, swimming, obviously, beach games, the board games, everything down there, and then the coconut demonstration. So the additional costs would be to the town of Masinga, but it is so ridiculous. I think it's 300 rand per person for that trip. So as South Africans, we can afford it. There's also the pansy and the ocean safaris. Those are a little bit more, but um, all those rates are with um, Cameron and the team at Thompson's. Um, on the note of, for example, with December coming up, we do still have some rooms available, so please support. There is a New Year's Eve supplement of 200 Rand. So what you'll find with Missinga, it is great value for money. When you start comparing what others are charging, we really, really are charging an amazing, amazing rate. And for your groups, we've also got different, um, if anybody in this group is... Um, you know, from a group division. Please connect with Elaine. We've got other offers there as well. And um, obviously through Thompson's, because of our partnership, you you know, the, there's a lot more le leniency regarding deposits and all of that, which they can share with you and whatnot. Um, for the honeymoon package, we also do require proof of about six months. You know, we give them up to six months because we do get a lot of chances, but as it is, just the Stay 5 Pay 4 deal, that's for everybody in the ocean front rooms. And then when you look at our family um, rates then and packages, you'll see what great value for money that is. Thank you for that question, Crystal. Let me just move down and see if there's any more. I'd just love to know how many of you um, have been to Mozambique. Have any of you been? I've been to Mozambique, but not your property. I'm sure there must be some more that have been. Yeah, over the years. I Leone's know. Leone's been good. <laughs> oh, good. Wonderful, Leone. But I yes. think it is time let's put something else together again. Cam, you organize the flights and uh, Carla will organize the accommodation. <laughs> Absolutely. With pleasure. Mm -hmm. But like I said, we've got amazing information that you can get from Angela and Cameron. And um, please don't be shy. Oh, Bronwyn, yeah, we need to get you there, guys. There's just, please, I mean, if you chat to Erling or to not yet Carabo, <laughs> but I like that not yet. And also not A quick silly um, question, uh, Carla. A yes. quick silly one. What is the best time of the year to visit Masinga for optimal weather and experience? Oh, that's also a brilliant question. The beauty of Mozambique is it is a year-round destination. Um, it really is the winter where everybody just wants to hibernate in South Africa. It is gorgeous there. You know, we've even got people swimming in this beautiful ocean. Um, we we find that from September right up to December, February, that's when it picks up. The, with the weather patterns and the climate change, um, we, we can't even say March, April of the heavy rainy seasons. Because it's, yeah, there's, but generally March, February and March are the more rainy. 
February Masinga does close to do a lot of maintenance and also um, just give their staff a bit of um, time off because they are working like mad. I mean, you can't believe what happens behind the scene. But otherwise, it's really a year-round destination. Thanks for that question, Cameron. Awesome. So I think, um, does anybody else have any other questions? No, Carla, I think you've covered it wonderfully. So thank you, everybody, for oh, joining. And, yes. um, yeah, we hope we can put a trip together soon. So all have a wonderful day, and we'll see you soon. Thanks, everyone. Uh, thanks, everybody. Thanks. Bye. Thank you very much, bye. Carla, for your time. Uh, and you, Charlie, uh, Charlie, <laughs> Cameron and Angela, thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Bye.